going, wait a minute, I checked all the boxes, I did all the things like, you know, I actually had multiple rental properties at the time as I was making more money than I ever my like my family did not talk about this kind of money, the kind of money that I was making as a salesperson and there was still something missing. Welcome to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, where world changing spiritual entrepreneurs come to deeply awaken the power within to bring forth their greatest purpose. While enjoying being in tune with all life and real wealth in all aspects of their lives. I'm your host, Daniel John Hanneman. Hello, everybody. Spiritual Rockstar Podcast Show. We've got another great guest. Oh, my God. This is literally has been years in the making, this interview. I've had to continue to come back to Rhonda again and again, say, hey, is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Is it time? And even on this day, there's been issues going on in her side in terms of in her neighborhood or power going down and all this stuff but the bottom line is like this show is actually happening and we both know it's going to be a most titanically powerful show because it has been years in the making so we are absolutely so excited we know that we we're, we're intuitives we know the signs we know when something big is going to happen so you definitely want to listen about divine coordinates i'm looking forward to learning more about it because who doesn't want want to know more about like why you're here like what your purpose is and how to tune into that more we're all wondering about that if we're honest right oh i gotta figure it out yeah right yeah okay so to tune in deeper okay <laughs> learn more right so i'm so grateful to have uh you here today Rhonda. this is gonna be amazing i am so excited to be here i i i was saying before we hit record i was just like <gasps> basking in the we did it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we made it. All right, we did it. We did it. We're here. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so, so let me tell you about Rhonda. Uh, you know, she's just a real rock star here. So, Rhonda Renee, founder of Divine Navigation and creator of the Divine Coordinates process, has led countless people to success. I've known her for years, and she just keeps helping more and more people. Rhonda guides business leaders and individuals to the extraordinary life their soul has in store for them. Rhonda is an internationally recognized speaker, facilitator, and three-time best-selling author guiding individuals and industry leaders to the success and fulfillment that can only be experienced by living, loving, and leading in alignment with your soul. Amen, right? Personal growth, take it to an entirely new level. Rhonda leads, continues to lead people through astounding self-discovery, personal transformation required to finally be living their most elevated and purpose-driven life. So she dedicates her soul to this. This is her uh, divine coordinates to be a part of this. So <laughs> courageous leaders with unshakable connection to their soul is what it's all about. So let's talk about this. It's all about ascending into our soulful leadership these days. Uh, Rhonda, uh, and, uh, you could come at, you know, maybe it's because of the glass. You look like somebody that, uh, you know, probably really, really can get uh, buzzing, reading lots of books, learning all kinds of stuff. And then another part of your, your being is like, oh, shit, this is all too complicated. Let me simplify it. And I'm already doing energy scanning, but like, <laughs> but yeah, you're that type. You get you're just, about me. <laughs> you're like, yes, ah, it could be so much simpler than this kind of mm -hmm. the vibe I get from you. But what what got you started? I know you've got some of that investigator issue. What, what got you started with all this divine coordinate stuff? I do have an investigator in me. Oh, where would be the starting point that I could that I could really hone in on? Um, the one I'll share is. Um, the moment that I that I really call a soul tapping. I used to have a whole different profession. I went to fashion college and then I worked in the construction industry. I sold windows for custom homes for over a decade. I was an award-winning salesperson and, uh, and I was good at it. And um, yet uh, I had just completed my second marriage and I'm going, wait a minute, I checked all the boxes, I did all the things like, you know, I actually had multiple rental properties at the time as I was making more money than I ever my like my family did not talk about this kind of money, the kind of money that I was making as a salesperson and I, there was still something missing. 
right? Like I did all the things you told me to do. And um, so I, I went on what I call a personal development bender. And I spent about two years like doing every, everything, you know, big seminar company, taking everything that they had, that kind of journey and sitting in a room with about 800 people um, listening to somebody many of us has pro have probably heard of, Lisa Nichols. She was mm -hmm. doing facilitation exercises with us for a couple of hours. And at the very end, she's kind of like, just mentions, oh, by the way, as she's trotting off stage, we're training transformational trainers. And my body, like I sat up straighter than I've ever sat up before. It was like a lightning bolt went through my body. And I was like, what? <laughs> and again, there's like 800 people in the room and I'm not a person who goes to meet, like I can, I can appreciate you from a distance. I don't need to re you know, like meet you. I'm not an autograph person or any, or, you know, take a picture with me person. I'm happy to do it. I just don't think about doing it. Um, and I was probably like the third person to her. And I'm like, I don't know what it is, but I think it's me. She's like, yeah. okay. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I think <laughs> it's me. Yeah. And I'm surprised she didn't call security, but uh, she passed me off and it turned out it was actually um, training to lead emotional authenticity workshops for teenagers. So my coaching and facilitation journey started there and, uh, and I followed breadcrumbs for a bit, eventually leading to me to another mentor. And I, I actually left my job to help run his company and train with him. And, and very shortly after everything fell apart, like everything fell apart. And then it became very clear as to why I wasn't supposed to do anybody else's work. There was something that wanted to come through me. And, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of the details about how all that happened are uh, a little more obscure, right? Because it, it wasn't, I was just having this conversation with a client a few weeks back because she's been a client for several years. She's like, I'm waiting for that one big download. And, and I'm like, you know, it doesn't really happen like that. Right. It's like this little one and this little one and this little one. And then you connect the dots. And the amazing thing was, is that we, the reason we were discussing it was because she got the big download, but all the download was, was connecting all the dots of all the little downloads we'd had over the last three years. <laughs> and then suddenly she saw the whole picture that was revealing itself. So, you know, in asking that question and, and, and saying like, what got me here? Oh, a whole bunch of little things. <laughs> and also one really big, important thing, which is my soul and my divine coordinates. Mm. Ah, interesting. Interesting. So, uh, so, so wh what is this then? Uh, so you, you didn't create divine coordinates or did you? I did. Well, here's the thing. The way that I describe it is <clears throat> I was gifted it from the heavens, right? It definitely came through me, but it's not like it came through me fully formed, right? Mm -hmm. It came through me a step at a time, this little nugget, this little nugget, this little nugget, the initial process began to reveal itself. And then within about four or five months, um, what are most of the foundational elements are in there, but mm -hmm. here we are in the 14th year now. And we were, we just had the divine navigation mastery session two nights ago. And I had, I had a big aha. And of course, what my lead coach came to the call with like, the, she got the same aha in the same little small period of time. Cause she's also so connected to the work. So Yes, I'm in this world, we would call me the creator of this. And it, it came from somewhere else. <laughs> Do you want to meditate and make money? Let it be simple. Let it be easy. Let it be fun. Go to yoursacredpurpose.com and get your free meditate, make money meditation today. <laughs> right, right. I always say that like with the energy scanning, like the technique I use anyway. Is, uh, I, I asked for the, I did it come as just a raw download, just all of a sudden it's just like, boom, uh, like you just knew something or did you ask for like the specific, a specific protocol or something like I did for the technique? I'm like, I need something to work with here. How did it happen for you? Yeah. I love this question, Daniel. I don't think anybody's ever asked me this. And now that you say it, it really was by request. So I was okay. in the community I mentioned that was disintegrating. Mm -hmm. It was like falling apart. Mm -hmm. The leader wasn't holding it together. 
And there were people who wanted a replacement process, if you will. And I remember I was actually going to have a session with a client who hired me for the old process. And I remember mm-hmm. saying to a col- colleague, I was like, man, I, I, I wish the new thing was here already. I don't want to do this old thing, but this is what she paid me for. So I need to do this old thing, but I really wish the new thing were here. The other thing didn't work that day. It just did for the first time ever. I had no information. And Mm -hmm. so it pretty much looked like help. (laughs) What (laughs) am I doing here? Right? Like this woman paid me for something and I've got nothing. And so the, the core of the process actually came in spontaneously. Her name's Sue. I will remember her forever, January 30th, 2011. Um, right. I will remember all these things forever, but it, that's just where it started. Yeah. So that, so, so it's like, help me out. I need something to work with here. And then you know, like the, the beginnings of it anyway, just, just, and then you just been, you flesh it out ever since kind of right <laughs> ever since the first about six months was really intense mm-hmm. um and then it you know it was awareness awareness i mean the thing is in in core tools that we use inside of divine navigation with your divine coordinates i can tell you the exact client that was created with right mm-hmm. like here oh this i did it with that person oh this it started with this one and i i i figured out the rest of it with this, this one um but then you know, fast forward in, um, in 2018, I think it was right. Seven years later, one of our certified coaches asked me a question and I was like, no, I don't think it works like that. Except the question wouldn't leave me alone. And it woke me up in the middle of the night and I'm up in the middle of the night, like pulling out folders, client folders to check her question. And I was like, oh my gosh, It totally works like that. And it was here the whole time. And I had no idea and I didn't build it in that way. And that's one of the many moments of me realizing like, this is a technology, Mm. right? It wasn't that I sat down and said, I want it to look like this. And I think this means that it has taught me and led me every step of the way, which is Mm -hmm. the core of divine navigation is about letting your soul lead you wherever that is right like Mm -hmm. instead of us driving the bus because if we're driving the bus we know where we're gonna go we know where we think we're headed Mm -hmm. but when we learn how to turn over the wheel to our soul i never imagined i would end up here how could i possibly have envisioned this right right Right. So, I mean, some people, I'm just thinking like, cause my mind can think of like all the objections to stuff. Like <laughs> my mind's good that way. I could find all like, no, what about this? What about that? So like, I could be like, yeah, well, if you just follow your, and then I could defeat even the thought that comes through me because I, I can hear it back up to that. Right. So that's, that's the way that's the craziness of my mind. It's, it's strong that way. But anyway, <laughs> it's like, well, what, can't you just follow your intuition? And all that's going to show you anyway, when you need this divine coordinates thing, isn't it? It's the same thing. So that, you know, and I could throw it, you know, and then one other thing, I won't throw too much at you at once because uh, <laughs> it just uh, too many questions at once, but uh you know, uh, uh, but what, wait a minute, you know, I've got my Enneagram or, or even more popular probably these days, I've got my human design. We don't need yeah. no divine coordinates on top of it. Damn, I'm still just trying to learn human design. Let me work that. Yeah. And so I'm just anticipating like what some people might be thinking. Some people are just excited. They just want to learn more. Like, get out of the way, Dan. Let's learn more about this. <laughs> some people are like wondering have these ideas in their head too, you know, yeah. about that. Why can't we just use all this other stuff we got going on. It's supposed to be so great. (laughs) Oh, these are such good questions. This is, I knew this was going to be an amazing conversation. Um, So the first thing I'll say is to me, however you get there, I just want you to get there, right? Like I, I am not one that's going to say my way is the only way, Um, right? All, All paths, you know, lead to the promised land is the way that I like to see it. And uh, and I'll speak directly to some of the things that you asked, but it also occurred to me, I'm not sure I really asked, answered your question. Like there was a two-part question. I answered the, how did I get it? But I didn't really answer what the divine coordinates were. Yeah. So in order to answer these questions, I have to ask, answer that question. And I wrote the other ones down, so I won't forget. Yep. Um, so the first part is the divine coordinates 
are the specific energetic qualities that make up the frequency of your soul. Mm -hmm. So we identify those with you and then teach you how to vibrate at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so it's set up like a compass and there are four directional coordinates. I can share this graphic really quickly for those mm -hmm. that are watching on video, or if you're listening, go get the video to get the graphic yeah. too. Come YouTube, spiritual rock star, check it out. Yeah. Um, so this just, I'm, I won't go in depth because obviously I could talk about this for days, mm -hmm. weeks, years, it turns out. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's set up like a compass. There are, um, there's a specific center of being in each direction. None of this is going to sound terribly new to people when I say heart, mind, body, and spirit, right? Those are the centers of being we all have. In the divine coordinates, they stand for very specific things. And the, the technology of how you use them is what makes the hugest difference. And then when they're all operating properly, when they're all coordinating, turns out that was something I didn't plan. Coordinate for me lent, meant um, location on a map. <laughs> but it also years later, I'm like, oh, but they also have to coordinate in a certain way. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so um, it's, it starts in the West. The sequence goes from the heart to the mind. And you were talking about your mind and how strong it is, right? So for mm -hmm. most of society, the mind is leading the way when the heart is supposed to take you to the mind. We try to use the mind to get to the heart and it, you can never get to the heart through the mind. Right, right. Those two things working properly together is go takes you into the South, which is more about where you're acting from, where how the energy you're meant to act from. And then, then you can rise up. That's the way I think about it is like sitting up straight, right? Standing up tall into the North, into your highest ideal. All of these together create the peak experience of the divine coordinates. And I can't believe I don't have a pyramid sitting right here. I usually do. Oh, well, I have my pendulum. <laughs> so I'll use that. <laughs> so imagine each of the directional coordinates. And then when they all come together, you end up in the peak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if we right. go to this, you can see the pyramid here. And you mm -hmm. can see some other elements that are part of our teaching and how the technology work, works. So that's just background for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. So the thing about the coordinates, it's, I mean, there's so many things. It's, it is a full body of work. It is so layered and so robust. Um, but what it does is tell you not just what you're here to do, but specifically who you're here to be. And so to answer your other question, the, the first one what, the, that you asked was, why can't you just use your intuition? Well, two mm -hmm. things. Uh, one is for a lot of people who they know themselves to be is always going to be in the way of who they are. And I, mm -hmm. I could say for really most everyone, um, because our personality, right. Our personality is put into place by two primary modes training. This is how we're raised. This is what the world tells us we're supposed to be. This is what we've learned to do or trauma. This is what's happened to me. This is the coping mechanisms and the survival strategies I've put into place. So if we sat down mm -hmm. to try to figure out our own divine coordinates, for example, mm -hmm. all of that stuff comes into the room with us, mm -hmm. right? A neutral party who is only checking for resonance, not any of that reasoning or any of those other experiences you've been through. Like mm -hmm. I like to say, I have no skin in the game about what your coordinates are. Only that we right. get the right ones, right? Right. right. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that happens um, is people will not choose what would feel like a challenge. Mm -hmm. Not everything about your divine coordinates, you're not going to love everything about your divine coordinates once you get into working with them <laughs> because it's your spiritual curriculum. Yeah. These energies you came here to master. Therefore, there's going to include some challenges. And so we wouldn't pick that as our personality, right? We wouldn't pick that. Right. Um, one more piece of that is that in, into, in intuition or like in meditation, sometimes people will go, 
Oh, I, I, I figured mine out on my own. Oh, great. What are they? Right? Inevitably, every single time somebody says that, they say some combination of peace, love, joy, oneness, and freedom. Mm -hmm. I call those the big five. Mm -hmm. We all experience those when we are in alignment with our coordinates, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's the money shot. That's where we're going, but they don't tend to be pathways. Mm -hmm. So think of the coordinates, those different directions as the pathways to your full soul expression, their their peace, love, joy, oneness, and freedom. It's not that they've never been coordinates. It is really rare, mm -hmm. really, really rare. Mm -hmm. So there's that piece. Um, now your other question, or do you, I could pause here and go to the other question if you have anything you want to include? Oh no, I like that. I mean, uh, I, I yeah, I'm fascinated to find out more in a moment uh, about well. Is that what this thing is? We come up with five five ways of being or something like that? Or, you know, like- uh, I'll answer that in a minute. Really I'll looking forward to hearing more about it because I'm all about that stuff. I have words all over the place that I like to focus on. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'll, I'll tell you about the process itself in a minute. So yeah. the other question you asked was, what about all these other self-discovery tools, right? Because mm -hmm. that's how I see these things, whether it's Enneagram or DISC or Myers-Briggs or astrology or human design, right? Like- there's a gajillion of them. Um, so first off, the ones that you take a quiz, right? Like you take the test, like Di DISC and Myers-Briggs. Yeah. Honestly, those, they're, I mean, they're called personality assessments. Yeah. So they're only testing your personality and you're the one filling it out. So when it, when you go, oh my God, that's totally me. How big of a surprise could that be? You're the one that answered the questions. Right. 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 Like there's no new information there because we're using the 5% of our mind that's conscious to consciously complete these questions. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, the things like, um, the Enneagram, I also see very much as personality because it's focused on, um, behaviors and where you go under stress and things like that. It's, it tends to be more personality. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going somewhere different right? Mm -hmm. You're going to the soul level perspective. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think all those things are fun and cool and interesting. And I can totally see, you know, for those who know Enneagram, I'm pretty sure I'm a nine. Again, I haven't gotten deeply into it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm a nine. And that's totally my training and my trauma combination. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I can get pigeonholed and stuck in that if I wanted to identify that. Or I could tap into the internal, indelible, ineffable part of me. That's mm. where I'd rather go, right? Mm. And then master myself into that. Um, things like human design. I actually have a client who does, you know, human design with her clients, and what and and she got her divine coordinates back in 2012. What we've been able to to discern is that in that particular case, human design is how you run energy. Mm -hmm. I'm a manifester. I'm a five, one manifester. If anybody's geeking out on that, I'll go ahead and tell you again, not deep into it for anybody, but me. And I still wouldn't call it deep into it. I know those two things it explained quite a bit about me, <laughs> honestly, yeah. for sure. I'm a, so I'm a fan. Um, but the divine coordinates tell you what energy to run. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it, it's not that these things have to be mutually exclusive. Right. 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 Uh, yeah. Totally. Is that what I heard right away? Uh, my guidance say the minute I I said, well, how about human design?" and uh, I got like, "Yeah, they work together." Like instantly, that's the download I got. So yeah, uh, they really that's do. What makes sense. Uh, okay, so so yeah, tell us more. Of, I I it's just like I you know I love I love what you do because it's like. I love that it makes people really feel like, come on, I just want to know what my divine coordinates are then. I just want to know about it. So how can you uh, guide and lead us next to tell us more? Because the cool thing, what is, first, I'd love to know this. And then uh, maybe we'll just take a second to do this. So you're all about ascend, you know, ascending and all this stuff, ascending to your soulful leadership is what we're talking about today. Um, so once we get... Uh, this these divine coordinates locked in, uh, so to speak, or whatever, <laughs> get them clear. Then, 
yeah, I'd love to hear like how does this actually help us to unleash the transformational leaders that we are? Because that's that's the people are gravitating towards yeah. this, at this point, right? So I'd yeah. love to learn more about that. Um, how, why is this so important? Versus like, there's a lot of other people that say, I'll get you your five states of being. Here's my process for that. So yeah. I'm also yeah. curious about that. So I always have 10 questions of what. <laughs> um, and I'm, I mean, maybe they're out there. I don't know. I don't know anybody else who has something that's really like the divine coordinates. Um, and I'm, yeah, no, it's different, but I'm saying yeah. like they have, people have other systems like this, yeah. and we can up there five this way or that way. So yeah. 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 Okay. So there was a lot in there. So let me just see where we want to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first thing I'm going to say is, um, The, the really, the really um, important understanding is that we show up in this world as a potential. And we are not necessarily being that potential, right? Our life is actually a process of becoming. Mm -hmm. And so rather than um, kind of bumping around in the dark for what is that becoming, this gives you the direct pathways to your mastery. And mm -hmm. the reason I talk about this as ascension is because when we've got the four directional coordinates mm -hmm. and then you reach up to the peak, there's another pyramid that sits right on top. That's another level of your soul expression. Mm -hmm. So even when we're talking about purpose, it's like, what do I need to work through to get to the next level of my service of my purpose? What do I need to work through to get to the next level of the expression of myself as a leader, right? So in each of these directions, in each of the centers of being, there's also a universal shadow that we're all dealing with. And the antidote mm -hmm. is whatever your coordinate energy is in that direction. There's a universal fear in that direction. And the antidote is whatever your coordinate energy is in that direction. And there's mm -hmm. universal, what I call personality pulls. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you tip into the personality out of the soul, you're going to probably show up with these behaviors. Mm -hmm. And it's all stemmed in somehow I'm not enough. That is like absolutely the universal shadow for people. Who I am isn't okay. Who I am isn't enough. I need to be who I think I need to be, who someone else told me I need to be in order to be in the world, mm -hmm. right? And that and that could be in the world to be protected, right? To be safe in the world. There's a lot of different elements to this, right? So um, that first part is fully embracing ourselves. And so I'm going to tie this into how we do the identification, right? It's not a quiz because you're answering that from your mind. 5% of that mind is conscious. This info is definitely the 90%, 95% that's unconscious, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not predetermined in terms of a computer program because the experience of, let me tell you who you are. I don't want to be part of that. The whole world wants to tell you who you are. I'm not going to be that person. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an experience of who you are because when you see how great it is, it's a lot harder to argue with it when you felt it, mm -hmm. right? Like you can own it because you had that direct experience of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've, uh, like I've had, uh, other people on, uh, like a hand analysis uh, person and whatnot. And he does really powerful work and all this stuff. Um, and he'll, he'll point out the shadow and all that stuff. So he, he gets into all this stuff, but, um, but it's all in terms of how he's working with somebody and it's good. I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, saying this bad. It's wonderful. And, but you know, he, the only way he can get people to move forward is through, the way he does it from my what my experience with it was primarily first at least through the mind you you mm, agree they, yep. they resonate right and you need to work yep. on this because this is in your chart or whatever 
you agree, correct? And then, and then he has mm -hmm. more tools later, but you have to get through that part first, like to even agree. And yeah. so with what I'm hearing is different, like right here. So I just put myself in the shoe of a skeptical listener, right? So I was like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so in this case, it's like, you don't have to convince my mind you're going to have an uh, event in this process, baked into the process, it's going to start dropping into my energy and it's going to be like, oh yeah, like I just, it just is, you know, it's what it sounds like. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, key being like the first thing we teach people to do is how to get in their body so they can sense oh. it. That's the, like mm -hmm. in your preparation for your divine coordinates identification, you, you go through our 21 day energetic success activation experience. And part one <laughs> is absolutely learning how to be in your body so that you can sense resonance. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get to your heart or your soul through your mind the what's that Einstein quote like the mind is a is a um uh faithful servant that's been that's been turned into the master like I've probably butchered it but you know it's something oh, like that. That. yeah <laughs> we've given it all the power right like society is thinking doing thinking doing thinking doing and we've mm -hmm. left out the heart for the for the first stage and because that's where our our first wounding there's actually i call them activation experiences there's one in each direction that's based on an age range that was a piece of info that didn't come in till 2020 y'all nine mm -hmm. years in so it's yeah. not one major download it's lots right. of them. that's why i said it's been unfolding ever since because I, I get that sense yeah <laughs> uh, ever since i'm like oh my gosh there's just what i thought there was nothing else to know Oh, looky there. I mean, luckily the faucet has kind of turned down. It's a, tr it's a trickle now because <laughs> there were times where it was like, do not stop. Um, right. But, but we are, um, we, we're so not one dimensional, right? Like this work is really holographic and taking someone in for the direct experience. Um, and it's an integrative process. It's not a cognitive process. So we got to give you the information to teach you how the technology works. But mm -hmm. I often don't share a lot about all the different concepts that we work with behind the scenes, because until you have the context of your own divine coordinates, it kind of doesn't really matter. Um, mm -hmm. When you were talking about the hand analysis guy, uh, it reminded me, um, I've had my hands done too. I mean, hello, self-discovery um, vehicle. So previously self-discovery junkie, right? <laughs> so um, dear right. friend that, that read my hands and like, I think like 2010, something like that. 2010-ish was the first time. And um, then um, she and her husband were speaking at an event um, and they asked, they were like, Hey, you want to come? And like, we need, we can bring somebody to support us. I'm like, sure. Why not? And so I went to this event with them and, um, I was sitting at a table during one of the sessions next to a man whose wife was one of the trained hand analysts of the event host. And he was like, yeah, but I don't get it. It doesn't still doesn't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, I totally understand. And so what's interesting is inside the coordinates isn't just like how you operate, but it shows you the what, the how, and the why of your purpose. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's hidden. It's hidden in there. I probably have a slide for that too. Let me see what I've got here. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Here it is. Just so the, again, if you're listening you can always pop over to the, to find the video so the north yeah. and the south of your coordinates is the what mm -hmm. that you that you are meant to do be in the world the west east is how meaning i call those your tools for transformation they're how you fulfill on the what and the why is not like any why you ever hear about in you know, like entrepreneurial circles or, you know, direct sales is really famous for your why. And it's like for your kids or your family or vacations or whatever. None of those things. The why is simply your soul's motivation. What is the reason? Soul's motivation that rather than your mind's motivation uh, exclusively, right? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. It's the driving force and it is your superpower and is your Achilles heel at the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, the other thing that's really interesting is, you know, all your patterns are revealed in the coordinates. 
they're all revealed in there. Um, and so whenever you're going like, I'm, why am I doing this again? Well, I can tell you. So I don't do it this way because I don't find it valuable, but it's like a, it's like a, you know, one of those uh, cocktail tricks, <laughs> cocktail party tricks I can do. If I have someone's divine coordinates that have been identified by myself or one of our certified divine navigation coaches, I can take the chart then the the image that you saw we put their words in there and i can say oh someone with these courts with these coordinates probably has experienced things like this and felt like this and been through that and they're always like how do you know that and i'm like it's a technology it's right there it's like it's so obvious right. but the reason why we have repeated themes and repeated lessons is because your coordinates didn't change Mm -hmm. not meant to learn any of that other stuff you don't need to master anything else but the energetic qualities that are in your coordinates to you're being honed to become the source of these energetic qualities mm -hmm. because your frequency was needed on the planet and the only way to get to that frequency is through these pathways so that when you're fully embodied in your soul, moving through the world, you're fulfilling your purpose in every room you walk into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you're doing or if you're getting paid for it. Right. Okay. So, uh, so how the heck do you come to that down? Some people, I am not, I, again, I might've missed something. Okay. But uh, let me just uh, play dumb here. Like, you know, there's some systems, they say, give us your date of birth, your time of birth and whatnot. Uh, does he use that? I mean, how, how the heck do you fill in the sheet that tells us to buy our divine coordinates? How, what kind of, how do you do it? <laughs> uh, voodoo and fairy dust. <laughs> kidding. Yep. That's a joke. Um, so it looks much like an active guided meditation. Ah, that, now see, that's unique too. Like, you know, in most of these type of systems, they do it in, uh, you know, other types of ways. Yeah, And it's answer these questions. Let's look at your date of birth. Let's mm -hmm. look at where the stars were. Let's look at whatever. So many things. We don't yep. usually start with a guided meditation. That's a, that's pretty yep. cool. And before anybody gets afraid and go like, oh my God, I can't meditate. It's not really a meditation. Uh, it's just the closest description that I can give. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always really like, I, I'll, I'll certainly give you a little bit, but I'm always a little hesitant because the thing the mind does, right? right. It gloms right. onto, yeah. you know, I say a few things and then the mind decides exactly what that's going to look like. And when the experience is not exactly that, then that judge or that evaluator, that critic is going to come in and, and take the experience away from you. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's not, it's not right. It's, it, it, it wasn't what I thought it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So, and I, and I, I did mention this earlier um, with the quizzes, right. That are answered these questions means um, you're answering from the mind, mm -hmm. right? This information doesn't live there. Right. And then when, when we're going just on birthday and things like that, um, it becomes externally referenced. It's like, oh, this is what happening was happening at the moment you were born. And it makes it honestly, this, whether this is conscious for people or not, it makes you feel very at the effect of the experience. Right. Right. Like, oh, this is just who I am. And it almost gives people a pass to not have to ascend, to not have to show up in the in their purposeful leadership. just is that's my chart you know i have no control uh these things are just happening and down that path which uh historically i used to have a real big problem with that when i got into metaphysics because i'm like i i have my i'm, my, I'm the creator i'm the one manifest i'm the, i'm i'm in control like <laughs> <It's a kind laughs> that's of, the flip side of that coin though yeah, 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 going to an extreme <laughs> but um but, uh, and then I kind of have played with the other side of it though, because that's how I am. You know, I want to, I want to play with it all. Let's see. I don't know. I'm exploring. And maybe what, what if everything is just spontaneously happening as some teachers say, oh, it's just happening. You know, you think you're doing something, you're not doing anything. It's just happening. And, yeah. uh, I, you know, and I, I like the, I like the, 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 the fun of like, Hey, I'm just going to put a million dollars on the table. Uh, and nine, the nine of you that are sitting around this table, I want your practice is to just, just let things happen spontaneously. Just sit there, wait for something to happen. Whereas I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want. Okay. The money's on the table. All right. Oh. <laughs> I take the money faster. Everybody. <laughs> 
okay. Don't tell me it's only spontaneous. Like, right. It's not only spontaneous. And it's never just one thing either, right? I have an article on our website about this. Um, it's, it's actually about pushing through or going with the flow, ironically. Like, it seems like a weird topic, but it's like, how do you discern when mm -hmm. something is just happening around you, when something mm -hmm. is happening to you, when something mm -hmm. is happening for you, you know, mm -hmm. right? Like, and and there is there is a degree of, of responsibility of presence to discern these things because all of those things exist in the world. And sometimes, frankly, if there's somebody coming back at you, it's not a reflection of you. Sometimes an asshole is just an asshole. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with you, right? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could hear the argument. I won't I won't push back on that one for today. <laughs> Feel free. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I hear what you're saying. Like, yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many gateways here, but what's uh, what I'm hearing with this is like, okay, we're going beyond all your concepts anyway, right? right? Like, mm -hmm. we're we're exploring the depths of the 95%, you know, where the real power, so to speak, of the connection is, you know, ultimately a connection, the subconscious goes to the super super conscious, which again is a mental concept, but basically it's true, right? It's it's connecting to the universal, which allows what what's manifesting your life to manifest. So when you get your you when you get that, you know, when you're playing with that piece of divine coordinates, my sense is, and my question is, then is it like a feng shui for your subconscious in a way? Like, <laughs> or maybe I, I give you two, I don't know. <laughs> I love that. I love that description. No one's ever said that before. And how many times have I said that in this conversation? Um, yeah, I suppose you could look at it like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what goes in what corner, right? Like what, right, right, right. What, what goes in what corner? And it made me think of like, you know, the relationship corner, like, you know, when you, when you map out feng shui, see, I'm familiar with like all of them guys. Um, not a master in any of them, but this one, but I'm familiar with all of them. Um, mm -hmm. Each of the directions of the coordinates also govern specific types of relationships. So mm -hmm. There's the intimate relationships, there's more friendships, there's work relationships, there's soul tribe. Family of origin is a whole different context. It's actually not a specific direction in the coordinates. Um, and so like, this is why I said, like, it's so layered. There's a, there's so many layers to the coordinates and what they provide for you um, and how they're heading in that direction. Just, um, just a couple of days ago, in our divine coordinates activation program, there's a, a gentleman who wrote a book recently and, and he, he wanted to get prepared to put it out in the world. Uh, you know, and he said, you know, if only I had done this before I wrote the book and I'm like, mm -hmm. it's not a problem because let me show you how this is actually everything that's in your book. And I described his coordinates to him in a certain way. And he's like, oh my God, that's my book. I go, I know I haven't even read it, but, uh, but I know, but now we know how to market it. <laughs> now we know how to yummy, market very yummy <laughs> yep. very nice. yeah oh that's fantastic so um yeah so uh people are listening in they're like they're probably still like what the heck is this i still have no clue what it is <laughs> how would people know like the, the divine coordinates is a uh, uh, is something to be exploring why what would be the signs <laughs> like yeah tell us about that you just made me think, Daniel. There's a there's a gal that was a uh, became a client years ago who I met in in person at an event, and um, we must have had a similar conversation to the type that we're having now because later, and she would tell the story for years. She would say, "Yeah, I Rhonda wouldn't tell me what she did. Like I couldn't <laughs> tell me what she did." And I'm like, "That's not true. <laughs> like that's not actually accurate." <laughs> so we used to joke. Some of us are of a certain age. <laughs> where mm -hmm. remember Saturday morning cartoons some of us are going to remember this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how they had the um you know the the scent the aroma that they would draw like wafting through the air and then the cat is like sucked up and his nose is stuck to the aroma and he's just following mm -hmm. that's how you know <laughs> uh, okay. right like people are like they just know they're just drawn I can't tell you how many times I've heard I just knew I needed to do this uh. um and, and I like it like that. <laughs> um, the reason is I'll be really honest. Not everyone is ready for this work. Yeah. Not everyone's ready. 
it's very deep. So, you know, we have, uh, we speak to every person before they enroll. You cannot click and buy to have your divine coordinates identified. Mm -hmm. You can't click and buy anywhere. Um, it's so important that we, because like I'm checking the resonance or, you know, one of our enrollment coaches is checking the resonance mm -hmm. to be sure that it's really the time. Yeah. I, my commitment overall is that everyone who has their divine coordinates identified says that is the very best thing I ever did for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the ways I can make sure that's the case is to make sure they're really ready. Right. So that's, that's of key importance. And so the first thing we check is, is what we do, what you're looking for, right? So we work with two primary IDO clients. We work with people who've had a fair amount of success, like their lives work. They really do. And they're probably almost even guilty that they don't feel fulfilled in this life that looks fine or maybe even great from the outside, right? Mm -hmm. And then we work with people who are really wanting to move into their purpose, usually through a business, right? So we take the same information and then we build the business on that. But there's also these really cool, amazing ways that it influences your marketing, right? So that you are, you're attracting the perfect people for your perfect work, right? I call it the business in your soul and the business in your soul is about the business you run. And it's about how you run that business, right? Like where do you come from with all of your choices, not just mental, not just externally referenced, all internally sourced. And in both cases, we're really pointing you in the direction of the experiences your soul intended to have the energies and the expressions that you were meant to master mm -hmm. and be the example of and the embodiment of on the planet. I said this earlier, but it's like a super key piece. If you were born, you are here for a purpose. Entrepreneurs are not the only ones that get tapped on the head by the purpose fairy. Your frequency was needed. So you were born. And if you're not vibrating at that frequency, the earth does not get to be the utopia that it could be, that it has the potential of being. So it's mm. going to take every one of us showing up fully as our soul in that divine expression in order for this world to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which means that we're all powerful because each one of us can, can make that commitment to finding, connecting with our soul and finding the bedrock of our purpose so that we can express that in the world. And it's more and more and more and more of us move out of the personality, out of the training and the trauma and into the, the gifts and the expressions of our soul. Imagine the world we get to live in. Yeah. Yeah. The only, the only thing is, is we got to make sure the assholes don't get bored then. Right. <laughs> but, but this is the thing. There, but, but, but the assholes are only in their training and their trauma. Right, right, right. Like right. if we if we could every human that we came into contact with, and and this is not an out, by the way. This is not me saying that people aren't responsible for their behavior, because I absolutely am not in that in that camp. Right. If we could look beyond when someone is acting really deplorable mm -hmm. and we can see the wounding behind the eyes, the wounding behind that persona. We can at least have compassion. Can we change something with them? Do we do in, do we uh, choose to engage with them? Right, like probably no. Mm -hmm. And it's a frequency thing, right? This planet is changing frequency so rapidly right now, mm -hmm. so rapidly right now, and we have an opportunity. Like I feel like we've never had before to be part of creating heaven on earth. And it gets, I get, I get that it gets really hard when you don't agree with the politics and like all of the bad things that are happening. And we get really focused on that. I call that external referencing. When we external reference too much, we lose our internal sourcing and our internal sourcing is what changes our vibration, which is what ultimately is going to change the vibration of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Amen. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> that was my little pulpit moment. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I, and I feel like, personally, I feel like wherever people are in this moment is perfect. That's 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 how it's playing out in this moment. Yeah. But it, we want to, yeah, we want to experience, like you said, heaven on earth. Like I talk about that too through the work I do. I talk about the heaven on earth frequency, all that good stuff. It's like, 
uh, if we want to experience more of that, then yeah, there's more that needs to be uh, made clear. I was like, yeah, you need divine coordinates. You need uh, you need to be energy scanning and you need to do all the stuff, like, all the higher level, you know, yeah. connecting stuff that uh, you know we're you know we're born to be alive to experience something. At that that song in my head, born to be alive. <laughs> so uh, I always count on a song from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, this 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 is something, guys, that I could feel. Yeah, I could feel some people just like yes, yes, and I could also feel. Yeah, I could see where people might not be ready sometimes because it it's uh, daunting. It could be it could feel like it's a bit much, you know. Like oh my god, you're taking me into. Uh, uh, you're gonna destroy my uh, my shit, and uh, you know, like that kind of thing comes up. I would imagine for a lot of people, right? So uh, yeah. I imagine some of those people could be ready too. They may need just a little bit of, I don't know, a uh, little bit of encouragement, a little nudge, and some just aren't ready, right? So I'm yeah. a, I'm always in the mindset of soul line clients, right? Yep. Because I've tried it the other way. No, everybody, let's help them all. I, soul nope. line or not, I don't care. I'm here because if I don't help you, somebody else, you know, might try to help you, but they're not going to help you as well as maybe I can help you. I don't know. Like I was just a bad man with is just getting after everybody when I first got really rolling. Mm -hmm. And then I started realizing, yes, I could. And I did make a, a positive difference, but also there's times when things would go sideways, you know, like, okay. Uh, I know that's still going to bless them, but man, that was pretty chaotic. That was pretty crazy mm -hmm. because they weren't ready. They were ready. So like for now, I'm just like, I always say that now I'm like, yeah, I'm only working with soul line clients and uh, I'm being fully abundant with that because, you know, because uh, if someone's not ready, man, it's 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 something else. You know, it could really be a, a issue for them. It's an issue for you now. You're in your your lessons, right? Like you're, <laughs> you're going to deal with your shit. Well, in a way, it could be good, but I got to deal with your shadow. But it's unnecessary chaos. So, yeah, I would encourage everybody as the business to have that mindset. Soul line clients. Uh, no matter what and yet yeah. everybody needs their divine coordinates everybody needs in my opinion energy scanning ultimately um, i feel like we all need all this stuff so to speak add to card all that stuff but people have to be right i totally agree with that divine, so with ti divine timing we've actually a few years ago oh golly it's probably been like six years ago now time flies man um i realized that um I kind of did a quick analysis and on average it was three years from the time someone came across my work, heard me speak, whatever, that they asked to have their divine coordinates identified. And I was like, whoa. And of course the regular externally referenced uh, business strategies are going to say, oh, you need to cut down that sales cycle. No, divine timing is divine timing. And that is between you and your soul. And I cannot impact that. I can make myself available, but I cannot change your timeline. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> but so that means some people are ready right away. And last year, a gal I've known for 14 years mm -hmm. <laughs> became a client, right? So it's like some know they're ready right away. And then some incubate and it's, you know, it's life circumstances. It's like, there's so many, there's so many variable pieces, um, that go into that and everyone has divine coordinates. Let me be clear. They don't come into being the day we identify them. They mm -hmm. came into being with the inception of your soul, mm -hmm. right? So they're already there. It's just that you don't consciously know what they are. So you don't consciously know how to work with them. So they often act like a two-year-old having a temper tantrum. And we've all seen that at some point in our lives, right? It's like, it's not pretty. Right. <laughs> um, and, and your patterns just can keep happening. So it's, it's not like, your coordinates, your coordinates, because I say it's what they are, right? Or your coordinates happen the day that we identify them. Your soul chose them. I don't have any proof that I can tell you, right? But if we have multiple lifetimes, what I also know is you have the same soul. And right. and so therefore your coordinates are the same lifetime after lifetime. And so right. we could look, we could look at it as people who are more drawn to this work uh, have, you know, have been around a few rodeos, right? right because there's a, in each of the directions, there's also a ladder, if you will, we call them spectrums of the energy from its mm -hmm. highest expression, which is what we identify as the coordinate to the complete absence. Mm -hmm. So like 
called the penthouse and the cellar. <laughs> and and people who are in the lower parts of that don't can't even see us. It's like we are wearing the Harry Potter invisibility cloak. They don't, they're not drawn to divine navigation. It's not a problem, right? Mm -hmm. There's a range on that spectrum that all of our clients come in at. And it's one of the first mm -hmm. ways we know activation is starting to occur because that normal for them is starts to elevate. And we've identified mm -hmm. each of those steps. So we know we can say, okay, where are you operating now? And they can see their own progress and they can see the difference it's made in their life. So, mm -hmm. and we, and we have like some of the, some of the people in our community have literally been with me since the very beginning. They're some of the first ones that had their divine coordinates identified and they're still hanging out. So it's, we like to call it the gift that keeps on giving because, you know, like I said, we just had this whole combination of things um, with multiple piece, people in the community over the recent past around family of origin stuff, right. And our parents and my awareness through divine navigation is that we're born into families where our energy is needed. They're not meant to give us anything. We're actually there to provide something for them, which mm. turns our cultural understanding on its ear, mm. right? Like it's completely opposite. And I'm not saying they're not responsible for certain things, right? To tend you and whatever. But when you understand that they don't have, you're looking for things in them that aren't going to come from them because you're supposed to be the source. And this, this mm -hmm. awareness of, we had some people whose parents, um, you know, transitioned and, and their shock at how free they feel. And I'm like, you know what y'all though, spiritual maturity means that you don't have to wait for your parents to pass away mm -hmm. for you to be free. Right. Right. Like that's sovereignty and maturity and autonomy. Right. So it just added this whole it just gives me chills all over again I just had this whole other layer of what I know people suffer with and and we can give you the keys to the kingdom mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> yes 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 uh I love that so I mean uh just even the information you're giving of you know a reconsideration of your life you know uh wow maybe Maybe I would, I've just come into their lives because that's what they needed. And that's why I landed in that spot, you know, and um, there's the other teachings. Well, no, you chose your parents. Uh, uh, you, you, you did. <laughs> because they needed us. <laughs> you did. You, did. <laughs> you, ch you chose a role, right? Yeah. You chose a frequency to and yes. and at that moment of, oh, this environment needs this frequency. Yeah. Yes, you did that me, one. And I got to I got to tell you this story because my daughter, who's 30 now, <clears throat> such an extraordinary being. She was about four. Well, first of all, during this age range, three or four, I would sometimes forget that she was in the back seat because she was so quiet. <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden she would start talking to me about whatever it is I had just been thinking about. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, so this was a repeated whole time, right? <laughs> this is a repeated thing. She's pretty magical. Yeah. Well, my mom was visiting one time. My mom's in the front seat, so who knows what I was thinking. And my daughter says to me, I don't well, she says out of nowhere, she goes, I'm so glad I picked you to be my mommy. <laughs> and I said, Me too, baby. And my mom goes, What is she talking about? Who's who thinks they can pick their parents? And I'm like, and why, <laughs> and why, and why, did, why did I, <laughs> right? But my daughter, why did I pick this one? Why did, why did I <laughs> right? What did I, what did I want? What am I supposed to learn here? What am I, right? It's, but it's all to support us in becoming the source of the energetic qualities of our divine coordinates so that we can be the source of that for ourselves, which means we emanate that as we embody that and master that we emanate that for the world and it was needed for the world. And that's why you were born. So my perspective on purpose is a little bit different. It's not what you do. Right. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, totally. Uh, so, wow, um, there's so much. Uh, we could go on for hours and hours. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those shows I'm like, yeah, maybe we should go to the two, three hour format. Dude, right, like let's do a couple of segments. <laughs> yeah, totally. You know what we haven't, we haven't talked about though, which I think is important because we promised this was about ascending <laughs> into your uh, right. soulful, purposeful leadership. Right. I wonder if we should take a minute and talk about those shadows and those fears. Yeah, yeah, because that's a big piece of this work, too. So, yeah, tell us about, um, so you got your divine coordinates, and how does that interact with our shadows and fears? Yeah. yeah. So, then this isn't, these are the perspective of universal shadows, right? So, again, it's a technology. So, the technology actually works exactly the same for every single one of us. What the nuance is, is what are your energetic qualities and therefore how do those interact with one another and then express in the world? Or if the coordinates are dysfunctioning, if they're not operating the way they're meant to, what does that look like, right? So this is from the perspective of the universal shadows. Mm -hmm. um, so when we talk about coming into our leadership in our purpose, the thing that I have found repeatedly is that there really isn't any such thing as an external obstacle. It's easy to say, I don't know how to do this. I need to do that. Um, this happened in my life. So it distracted me, right? Like all those things outside, it's really easy to think that though that's what caused it all. Internal obstacles express externally. And it's really the internal obstacles they're the only ones that have the power to hold us back. And that's going to show up in the form of the universal shadows and the universal fears. So the only way to unravel those is to go through each, each of the directions. Um, mm -hmm. We can try to just do mindset stuff, but I find that it doesn't work. It hasn't worked for most people because it's only one center of being. We're leaving out other directions. And most importantly, we're usually leaving out the first one. So I'll try to do this quickly enough that we don't lose people, but also that we give you guys something to think about. So in the West coordinate, that stands for the, that's the center of being of the heart, it's feelings, emotions, specifically, it's how we express and experience unconditional love. And this is where the universal shadow of I'm not lovable enough comes in. For everybody. And that means the fear is if I really show up in my energy of my West coordinate, love is going to be withdrawn. This is the message we got zero to eight age range, right? Somewhere or many somewheres, who do I need to be so that love isn't taken away? And that is a, a direct affront to who we're meant to be. So Personality pulls, it's something I talk about in our annual soulful business planning event. These are like the ways we we behave, if you will, when we're in our when we're pulled into our personality. Mm -hmm. They cut they they come on two sides. There's an internal and there's an external. So the internal of of um the West coordinate shadow and fear is going to be protecting, right? We kind of wall ourselves off and we kind of shrink. Right? How many people have ever thought I'm hiding and known it and still not been able to do anything about it? Then right. the other version of that is projecting, which is just protecting pushed outward. Mm -hmm. Right? Like I'm so big and there's such a barrier, but it's still a barrier, but it's out here. Mm -hmm. Right? Antidote to all of these is whatever your coordinate energy is. So it's very unique and individual. Mm. The, in the East, that's your mind and your consciousness um this is the whatever coordinate energy you have there is how you're meant to view the world right like your perspective on the world mm -hmm. the shadow is i don't have enough knowledge or influence this is the direction that imposter syndrome lives in mm -hmm. right so hiding is really in the west in the west and imposter syndrome is in the east that I'll be found out. They're going to know that I don't know what I'm doing. Right. A lot right? of people have, have both of these <laughs> ones you've yep. talked about. 
Yep. Well, there's a compound version too. We'll totally get there. Then the personality pull is proving or posturing. Proving ironically is often when we're trying to prove to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so this could be like, I need more education. Um, you know, I've got to hit these benchmarks. Uh, if I don't, I'm worthless, right? Mm -hmm. Posturing again is all of that, but outward. It's like trying to, that's when you're really proving to other people, you know, yeah. by going, look how great I am, right? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The South and notice I'm going in a certain order. This is the order the coordinates fire. They work in this way when they work, they mm -hmm. have to go in this sequence. Mm -hmm. Here in the South, this is the direction of action, if you will. Um, it's it's kind of the physical plane of existence. It's the, mm -hmm. the coordinate energy would be what your the energy that's meant to be behind your actions. Like do not act for this energy, act from this energy. So that shows up in some version of I can't do enough. And it, it can fall into either I can't get it all done by myself or I have to do it all myself what I often refer to as savior syndrome, mm -hmm. I think happens in this direction, right? Like I'm going to save the world and it's up to me and only I can do it. Yes, right. Yes. Please save yourself first. Then we can work together on the rest of the world. Right. So mm -hmm. in the South, that can either lead to panicking. Like I can't, I can't do all this. There's so much, the world is in such a condition. How am I going to save it? right? Mm -hmm. Or pushing, but also happens when we're trying to make something happen or we're running an agenda, be it monetary or otherwise, trying to get other people to see our perspective, you know, any, any of those types of things that are like, I should be somewhere other than I am right now. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, felt like, I felt like you might have something to say. I was, I was just going to say, like, I feel like I've I had all of these through the years at times, you know, like, uh, uh, so far, I resonate probably to some degree more with maybe the West a little bit, like with that fear, those fears. Um, but yeah, like all, I think like, and I could, I would argue that we all experience a percentage of all of these, right? That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, that is why I call them the universal shadows and the universal. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Ev everyone, I don't care who you are how amazing you are. And as a soul, you're all amazing and extraordinary and beautiful and wonderful. Our personalities get stuck in this kind of stuff. And you were, you were talking about this earlier, Daniel, when you said, um, I'll stop this share just for a second. When you said, um, you know, some people I could see like, this is, could be confronting because it's gonna, it's going to be like, what you want to take down these, these ways that I, behave and you know kind of dismantle things this is why my from my perspective i don't believe there is such a thing as the dark night of the soul mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is only the dark night of the personality and it happens when it is sensing its own demise mm -hmm. when it's when it's sensing its own death but what it and before it knows because it doesn't yet know that when we put the personality in service to the soul, that's when we get to be in service to the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it will actually be liberated mm -hmm. by allowing the soul to take over. It will not actually die, but it feels like it's going to. And then that's when we have what is called the dark night of the soul, but is really the dark night of the personality. Yeah. Some of us uh, entrepreneurs have, you know, have lived the dark night of the so-called soul, uh, uh, like every single day, you know, uh, for many years, right? I've heard people say that even, <laughs> but uh, oh my God, you know, what this, that, you know, whatever, especially when you, if you're trying to get things moving, right? But yeah, yeah you're so right in the sense that uh, if we say the soul is whole, right? You know, all these different you know, perspectives, you know, yeah. there can be no dark night for the soul. <laughs> it's a dark night for a person. I love that. <laughs> yeah. The soul is whole, complete and perfect, untarnished. I don't believe there's any broken or defective souls. I really, mm -hmm. I really can't get behind that idea. Right. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we, we, we came from the pristine source and, and in that we are, we are perfect at yeah. that level. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. We're making our way back to that. But what you were talking about, the making something happen thing, that's definitely yeah. self shadow. That's definitely pushing self shadow stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Like I said earlier, yeah. right? Like, ha, ha. Well, I, and this, this is happen really- no matter what, I still go there in certain areas in my life. And I know what it is. I know it's just a, 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 a part of me that's afraid of like, if I'm not big enough, then I won't, I won't be, uh, I'll feel like I left potential on the table or I could be overtaken or, you know, like there's a host of sub Lots here. Of, yeah. You know, it, well, it's, it probably ends up being a combination of things. Right. But, but business is one of the easiest business and relationships are the two easiest places for us to question ourselves because it's easiest to become externally referenced. Mm-hmm. because whether we're talking about an intimate partner or we're talking about a client choosing us or not choosing us, we're back to the West shadow mm-hmm. and the West fear. I'm not lovable enough. Love's going to be withdrawn. Mm-hmm. Right. right. So it's all the enoughness stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then we try to, we act like we can control anything. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Like that's that's when the South universal shadow and fear has a chance to pick up. And the key is we all have these. You've experienced them, not like you're not going to experience them again, but what's the antidote? How do you get out of it? That's where that's where knowing your coordinates will will reveal that remedy. So then the north, we're almost done. Um, the universal shadow is it's not safe. Mm-hmm. Specifically, it's not safe enough to be me. And the fear is I'll never make it. I'll never get there. Right. And so in divine navigation land, we'd say like, I'll never make it to my North. I'll never make it to my highest ideal because that's the direction of your connection to source and the expression of spirit through you. And it's, it is the energy of your highest ideal. Mm -hmm. Then placating or performing. So placating is either where Um, I'm, they're both versions of performing, but they're inner and outer placating is I'm just going along to get along. I'm watering myself down. Performing is I'm, I'm trying to show up in the way that I think that I need to, in order to get whatever the love, (laughs) the, the influence, the agenda, right. The results from the West, East and the South. And then it gets put here into the North. And then when you put those all together, it's the universal really problem that we all have, we all struggle with, where we don't believe we're enough. It's Mm -hmm. I'm not enough, it's not enough, it'll never be enough. Mm -hmm. But it comes from because I'm not enough. And this is only when this only gets fully put into place when we've got universal shadows operating in multiple directions. Mm -hmm. And that's we kind of feel like it's it's pointless. Like I'm and I'm never ever going to be enough and then we you know it's a free for all any of those personality pulls can show up you know however it is your favorite you know insert your favorite one here (laughs) and when I say favorite one it's really you know the the one that you've learned to rely on the most the one that um the one that has paid off or, or seems like it's paid off for you the most and you know when we instead we move into the coordinates we're really in our divine presence right mm-hmm. so out of those out of those fears and shadows and personality pulls the soul shifts are shifting into your soul presence right. shifting into your soul purpose right? right the coordinates show you both of those things because the purpose as a state of being the embodiment of that is the presence part and automatically there's patience for ourselves and others we realize we're we're on our journey of mastery and, and we're just on the journey, we're on the path. And there's a peace that comes from that. And then prosperity is just naturally occurring in all the forms, right? Mm-hmm. There's another article on our website about the difference between abundance and prosperity. Because right. prosperity is about prospering. It's about your well-being. It isn't just about a lot of something, which is mm-hmm. what abundance is, right? It's like, ha- like a lot of crap is still abundant. <laughs> Like so we were very abundant. (laughs) Let's go for prosperity instead. Let's have our well-being prosper. Yeah. So when we talk about ascending into our leadership, um, you know, my perspective and awareness is in working with many, many business leaders, you know, people with multiple million dollar businesses, many of which have said to me, like, I built this amazing thing that I absolutely hate. 
Yeah. Come on, guys. That's not the point of this, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, not the point at all. This is not supposed to turn into an oppression um, of your purpose once it's turned into a business, right? And mm -hmm. and um, every single time, the key is about expanding our own capacity, our own energetic capacity. However, you do that, specifically with the coordinates being able to have the antidotes to the shadows and the fears so that you can show up fully and be led in your purpose by your soul. Right. That's automatic leadership for yourself and the people that are in your community. Some might call that your audience. I like to call it your community. Um, mm -hmm. and, then, and then in the greater leadership, right? Like what is your unique thought leadership? Mm -hmm. That message that's supposed to come through you because again, the coordinates, the message, the what, the message of the what is in the North South of the east and the west is is the how and then the center is the soul's motivation mm -hmm. and when you start even communicating that way you're not necessarily telling everyone your coordinates but when you communicate in these other tools that we put together with you people are always like they lean in automatically they're like oh what's that how do you do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yeah. you can't say the wrong thing to the right person mm-hmm can't say the right thing to the wrong person back to that ideal client thing again <laughs> yeah i mean it's uh like uh, well i don't know this just comes to mind as you're saying all that is uh, i know i keep talking about it today because i'm so passionate about it but with the energy scan training i do it's like i could roll out of bed and sell energy scan training is what it feels like sometimes like it's so it's you know certain steps i have to take because there are um just like this, there's fears around doing, oh my God, what am I opening myself up to? And can I do mm -hmm. it? And da, 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 da. Yeah. So I, mean, I have that to deal with, but otherwise it's like, yeah, I mean, this is my thing though. It's my jam. This is easy to sell. This is easy to get yep. behind a million percent. Um, so I know I'm on the right, uh, you know, right path with that. Sure. Uh, but when, you know, I've been around almost 20 years online now, and it's like, but when I try to sell things that were not really centered, you know, in my, you know, if you want to call it divine coordinates or whatever it may be, but like my center of what is the most potent thing I could share. Aligned for you. Uh, I could try to be as enthusiastic as possible. I could use, yep. I, could, I could try to try to bring my heart and soul and every, every marketing and sales tactic in the world is. Yep. You know, I might sell a few, th a few for too few people, but it's not going to do well much, you know, and it's not going to sustain. It's going to dry up because that's not where the juice is, right? So, that's like right. with divine coordinates, it's like, you know, you're going to not only get like the right direction, but like, you know, like for 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 people like me potentially. I mean, like, you know, you could even potentially hear optimization, right? Like, wow, yeah. okay, yeah, you're on the right yeah. track. There's maybe something you didn't notice yet, though, about that, you know, and yep. that opens up a whole nother level. So, um, you know, when you allow rather than your fears to, you know, guide and direct your business and, you know, all the compensation you're doing all the time and I you better do a billion dollar business to be able to be worthy or whatever, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, like whatever it is that we're doing and then it's coming from the soul. There's nothing that going on. It's just like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. And, you know, I, cause I hear that a lot from People are super successful and happy. They just says, yeah, it just kind of came to me to do this. And I, yep. I started doing this and doing that. Mm -hmm. And well, good luck falling into that. You know, those people are just very fortunate that they, they could probably even optimize more with this thing. But I'm just saying like, that's, it just like is for them. It's not like, man, I just strive really hard to figure it all out. It was like, it was so hard. It was, of course yeah. there's challenges here and there, but like for sure, but like it was more like there was this flow, this, there's this ease, mm -hmm. the more mm -hmm. they went deeper in that path that they knew was meant for them. And what's yeah. what I'm hearing here is, you know, that uh, although this is around a, a way of being and a state of being as much as everything else, you know, it does also show, like you said, it does both. It also shows like here, here's, uh, here's the plan, you know, here's the next uh, steps, the actions as well. I mean, it's, it kind of comes with the whole, the whole kid caboodle in that regard. And so, um, so it's really uh, phenomenal uh, stuff. So I know that we're going to get into it in just a moment. Now, I will just let the listeners know that there is a phenomenal, it's a free offer, you know, so we got a big pitch. Yeah. 
but it's a free offer. You know, do you want to know your divine coordinates is completely for free? Ultimately, it, it, there's no charge whatsoever. Um, there is one little thing to do, which is no big deal. Uh, it's totally painless, totally easy. You're doing it right now, basically. <laughs> so like, um, you know, it's easy as breathing. Um, but yeah, it's so, but you have the opportunity to find this out for free more well, about, well, to find need, more about it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I need to be careful about that. That's and I'd say they're going to get everything. Yeah. I'm like, the time for you get everything. Three hour one-on-one -on -one process. Jump it in right away. Now, wait a minute. Wait like, a minute. Hold on. I just don't want anybody to like hop on and think they're going to have. Uh... Everything will be delivered. Here it goes. Um, so, but uh yeah, so I'd love for you to share if now's a good time to, to share yeah, about that. Totally, totally. So we we want to give you an experiential, right? As I said, we want to get like the identification of your coordinates is an experiential process. So what can I give you now to have you begin to connect with them? Like that's the key. Um, the identification itself is a three-hour one-on-one process. Um, sometimes with me, sometimes with one of our certified divine navigation coaches. Um, that's part of our divine coordinates activation program. And what can I give you now? So what really felt like the right thing is there's an experiential, it's about 15 minutes long. It's going to connect you with the energy of the West coordinate and have you feel into what's been happening in that direction for you. Right. So, and people have a wide array of experiences with this. Um, what I can say is the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. But luckily it's only 15 minutes long. We're going to go in fast and we're going to go in deep. Once you go through that, if you're so inspired right there on the page as well, you can submit your answers to just a few questions about your experience. And that qualifies you. It's like the, one of the only ways that you can qualify to get an absolutely free divine next step session. Now I, I do those, a few of those every month based on what my availability is. So it, you it could put, you could potentially get it with me of uh, definitely one of our enrollment coaches. They've all worked with me for years and years and years and years. The one that does most of them has been with me for 12 years now. Mm -hmm. So, um, highly experienced, but if you are at all intrigued <laughs> and you're feeling it right like that's always the thing for me like just sink into your body and can you feel it and if you feel the pull go give it a whirl um and then you know either way we'll be connected <laughs> and because you might be one of those people who you know has to incubate that three that three year average i mentioned it's okay we're not pushing anybody ever we believe in divine timing we want it to be the right thing for you we want to make sure first that what we do is what you're looking for Mm -hmm. and we fulfill on why you came uh we got to be able to feel your energy in that in that conversation because if we're going to do the identification that's what we need and is now the time right there's sometimes when it's not the time right like if you're uh caring for an ailing parent or you just went through it like you're still in a in a traumatic divorce situation or something these might not be times to take it on it doesn't take a lot of minutes <laughs> uh in the week but it takes bandwidth right? It takes energetic bandwidth. And so we really got to check all those boxes to know that, you know, and we agree that someone is ready. In the meantime, let us serve you this way. We would love to. Awesome. Yes. So uh, to be able to do that, I want to go ahead and let you guys know where you can do that. Uh, just go to tinyurl.com forward slash ascend 11. So it's tinyurl.com forward slash ascend 11. We will put this link also uh, down in the show notes where you're uh, listening, whether you're on uh, a podcast platform or YouTube. Um, if you can't uh, if you can't find it, just, just write it down, right? <laughs> Type it into your browser now if you want to. tinyurl.com forward slash ascend 11. 11 and i've already opted in i haven't had a chance to do the 15 minute training uh but i uh really know that uh you know you're going to definitely get uh you know if again you're feeling that nudge you're feeling that pull uh you're going to get what you need right because that's how the, it works Rhonda already told you how it works like you know, you just you just go with it, and uh, if it's uh, calling to you, and 
everything just starts to unfold perfectly for you and uh and it will start giving you the information that heads you down the pathway of knowing more about you know why why these things happen to me what uh you know ultimately if you keep taking further steps you do get your divine coordinates and everything i understand that isn't the first step but um you start learning about what are what would tell me something like give me some more insight into what's happening for, for me and to be able to know that's invaluable and it points you in the direction of knowing your divine coordinates so but i get i get really excited I'm like the whole thing's here just for <laughs> one dollar like <laughs> oh I, well, I would i mean you know there, there, i would certainly love to be able to do that but it is a little time <laughs> <laughs> Only for one million dollars. No, I'm just joking. Because <laughs> <laughs> it may be that valuable to you in truth. I, because a million dollars, even yeah. if the non million dollar business owner, they could easily be that worth that much for you. So take the next step. And uh, and the pain and suffering is always the big thing. Like to be able to release more of those old, uh, mm -hmm. the old fears and whatnot uh, in this process. I'm sure that taking these free steps. If the free step is going to help you with that for sure. So, yeah. all right. So Rhonda, this is uh, fantastic. Any last thoughts uh, to share with them about that opportunity? Hmm. No, I'm just super excited to see who is called. Um, you know, we do, we, we um, do these whenever we have time to do them. So your submission, just because you don't get it right away, you could get it later, but you can always, there are other ways to get to us. Um, yeah, just the the people the people who are really feeling it. Uh, I can't I can't wait to talk to you. And you know some of the things you were saying, Daniel. I don't ever like to um, imagine or like be Pollyanna and say like nothing bad's ever going to happen in your life again when you get your divine coordinates. And yet, they are sheer magic. Um, you know the my favorite words repeatedly throughout the years from clients are you won't believe what's happened because it's so mm -hmm. frequently things they never even could have thought to ask for mm -hmm. from the limited awareness of their conscious mind and who they thought they were but when we align with our soul what's meant for us can find us mm -hmm. right it can finally find us mm -hmm. and I, I want for you everything that your soul planned for you mm. Amen. Yes. All right. Again, it's tinyurl.com forward slash ascend 11 uh, to go ahead and take advantage of this uh, free opportunity to take in uh, this 15 minute audio training and uh, also get that opportunity to get a uh, a free session, it, you know, it actually is like a, it's something people do pay for, but through this opportunity, you do get it for free. Yep. It's over a $200 value. So you yep. get the private divine next step steps uh, session with Rhonda mm -hmm. or, and, or, or team member, you know, whoever is available, um, whatever is yeah. divinely aligned for you. Yeah. Uh, and if, if you really want one, I mean, you can pay for one any day of the week. You technically can. So if you want to yeah. come online, that's one way to do it. But, um, and I don't do this very often. I mean, like, you know, we, we yeah. occasionally, we'll put the offer out to our community, like to like mm -hmm. super small group of people um, who probably who've participated in other um, programs, things like that. Um, but when Daniel and I were putting this together, you know, when I was preparing for our time together, it just, it felt, it felt like the right thing. Like it felt like the thing. So I just, I just listen and obey. I only work here. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I feel the same way. <laughs> so, so yeah, absolutely guys. So there you go. This is, uh, uh, been, uh, put into, uh, play for, for just you guys at this time anyway. And, um, so it's, that's not every day you're going to find this opportunity. That is true. So, uh, fantastic. So we've come to the point of the show, of course, for our energy scan segment all right so i'm gonna do some energy scanning yeah for Rhonda, which i don't think i've done any formal energy scanning for you uh just yet all right so i don't think it's ever sort of formal happened. like little bits and pieces yeah. right i mean we met like six or seven years i mean we met some time ago and i'm sure there was a little bit of it then but, there yeah right <laughs> there must be something good and interesting here otherwise why would you you know keep asking me to play 
<laughs> yeah, you got to come on the show. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a little tuning in today. Uh, one of my three-ish minutes uh, down downloads, energy scans. But a lot could happen in three minutes, potentially. You guys, listen in even closer now because this does change people's lives. Uh, so, uh, now I'm saying every, it will change your life. It can be profound. It can even be profound for you listeners because it may be something you need to hear. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, so let me just tune in. <laughs> I don't know if this is a family member, but I get some, uh, it almost feels like a, a Jewish grandmother or something. It does, I don't, I'm not saying you're Jewish. I don't know, but it just is the energy. It's like, oh, we got this going on, that going on, we got stuff that we... So it's just an interest, and this person's talking a lot, like... Da, 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 and uh, um, I really enjoy that energy. So let me see why that's showing up, because it's very clear. Ah, I hear forgiveness, so there's something in this connection with this person I'm seeing, and it's like... Uh, Okay, and maybe it's what you said earlier. Now that I'm being reminded, people might be like, "Ah, you know, for what she said before." No, it's just popping in. I'm just like, no, there's some forgiveness here that needs to go on. So, uh, and I'm sure you've done a lot, but it's like, it's just like, okay, you know, yes, uh, 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 everything you said earlier, right? <laughs> but also just uh, that that place of the divine perfection of this being in your life, like how perfect that you know this uh, interplay was for you and uh uh that you know it gave you uh actually helped to strengthen your ability to connect with the divine and it helped you drive you in deeper into that connection uh because otherwise you uh are prone to um previously before you really got connected uh to just, you know, you'd be very imaginative, connected in, in a certain level, but it was more like, yeah, yeah, it's just kind of like this, like that. You got to kind of have a big cape over your crown. And and now it's just like, yeah, let's play. Uh, this is the way of sovereignty and freedom from all that stuff. You know, with this person, I'm saying I, <laughs> everything you said, but like, it's funny how it's revealed just this sort of this image, like right away it came to me and I had no idea what it was at first, but so that's one download. We'll get, we'll do at least one more. Let's see what else is coming through. Hold on. There's lots, lots of things I could share. Let's just see what I want. It's the most. It's not about, you know, like, there's so many things. It's, uh, you, I just get that, that you're, you're on the precipice of a, like this, uh, I want to say like a, an explosion, you know, like a birth of letting so many more, more people to have access to this work. I know it's like they need to meet with, it's got to be this way. But there's something to though, but that there's an opening where the growth has been um, a little bit, uh, it's been great, but it's been, uh, you know, relatively incremental compared to what I'm seeing and perceiving wants to happen um, in the near, pretty near future. But I just feel like there's just this, this like, you know, divine coordinates everywhere, energy coming on board. And, um, and you're like, you're, you're, if you're not pregnant, like you're, you, if they're showing me as you are being kind of pregnant with this idea. And so, um, I just feel like, um, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is really going to take more root for sure next year and even more so. And then, um, and then, yeah, I don't know, you know, it depends on decisions and whatnot, but like, I just feel like, yeah, like then the next, the next anchor, uh, I've seen a bunch of anchors, but like a smaller one seems like 227, 2027, and then I see something bigger in 2029. Um, but like, yeah, like there's a mass acceleration because that's what the consciousness needs right now. And divine coordinates, uh, time has come to be shared with more people um, and the way to do it is going to come to you. So, 
Um, if it hasn't already, you know, I don't know. But um, okay, so those are two two downloads that came uh, in that initial read. There's always so much more, but we're just doing quick ones on the show. Uh, quick uh, reflections and thoughts, uh, Rhonda, what came through? Totally. Um, yes, I know exactly who that person is. And uh, there's always more forgiveness possible. And it's not a surprise that that person showed up right here because that person is kind of right here um for me with the situation right now so okay um, got it or for their privacy i will not say more <laughs> but i'm like oh yeah that's in my space there's no way it's in my space um and the other part i uh, completely agree with you um we like one of the things as the as, as divine navigation has grown like it's all started out it was just all one-on-one -on -one with me right like this was it i had this thing um then I was luckily able to figure out I could teach people um, mm -hmm. like you with the energy scans, right? Like I can teach people. Um, and yet there's this one part that is uh, that I haven't quite, I haven't figured out how to consciously teach which is why I keep thinking the energy scan divine coordinates combo could be such yeah. a good thing um, yeah. is because I, it's about body centered, right? It's about feeling the resonance mm -hmm. um, when people get their divine coordinates that what I call body centered intuition tends to mm -hmm. elevate. And there's just some people who are more natural at it than others. And mm -hmm. so they're more likely to be better at identifications than someone who, who doesn't. Right. Like, but I don't know how to make, I don't know how to teach that part per se. Right. Um, and I, and over the years I've certified, you know, a couple people here, a person there, right. It's when somebody raises their hand and it really feels right that we've done that. And next, uh, and, and, someone just enrolled a week ago, you know, to go through the certification program. Right. Um, and I think in 2025, you said 2027, but in 2025, I'm planning, uh, it feels like it's going to be 2025. I always am. I'm not I said 2025 it. first. I don't know if you, you heard did. that. You did. Yeah. You did. You yeah. did. I'm just going to say, I'm not running an agenda. Like I'm not pushing, but it's sort of right. like my awareness is, is like, we're going to have more of the beta version of the new certification model with a group mm -hmm. of people i don't know how many yet um for next year <clears throat> you'll have had you'll have to have already had your divine coordinates and done your divine coordinates work right. to qualify for that um and then i think by 2027 is when it really starts to ramp up more um right. it's true i want everyone on the planet to know their divine coordinates and i know i can't be the one to do that and i love it I love it more than anything when I know that my coaches have gone out and, you know, they got their own clients and, you know, we have coaches that have had multiple six figure businesses off of our, you know, content and to know that I will never meet these people and their lives were still transformed and they may not have been attracted to me anyway. They were attracted to that person because they have different coordinates than I do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, um, yeah, makes my soul sing. <laughs> yes, it is awesome. I mean, for uh, I think other people that uh, are impacting people's lives in this sort of, sort of in their own way, you know, uh, whatever that is, uh, can resonate like I can. I'm like, yeah, the ripple effect, you know, the uh, people are going out, you know, train, they do the energy scans and they're changing all these people's lives. And it's like, it's, uh, it is, it's really in incredible to consider. So, but, uh, so guys, you know, uh, uh, Rhonda is, uh, you know, getting ready to expand and this whole thing wants to expand more. And so if you're, again, if you're drawn to it, it's time to, to jump in more. I'm going to say it again. I love to, I, I tend to go on and on about these things. Come on, come on in the waters. The water's good. If you're getting, being called, uh, so, yeah. um, yeah, and lots of, there's lots of fun ways to play with us too. We, I do free multiple free events every year. So there's lots of fun ways. Yes. The way you'll find out about that is do the, do the ascend training, yes. um, yes. submit or don't, but you'll, you'll hear about, um, about the other things that we do that are. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Even if you lots, just take in the 15 fun. minutes worth of free training, I mean, it's going to be very helpful. Yeah, for it's powerful. It is the most potent. 15 minutes it comes out of a training I did for our actual community. And it was just like, Whoa, that 15 minutes will change your life. And that's why we pulled it out. 
Okay, one last time I'll give the URL in case somebody just says, okay, now I'll do it. <laughs> now okay. I'm ready. <laughs> right, you never know when somebody will be ready, right? You never know when it's going to ping. So <laughs> tinyurl.com forward slash ascend11. All right, tinyurl. Doc, uh, wait a minute, tinyurl.com forward slash ascend11. I got to make sure I get that right. Okay, so take, take, uh, take advantage of that. And then the uh, last thing, just quickly, uh, guys, uh, if you want to learn more about me and stay in touch with me and learn about the podcast, you know, episodes are coming up, um, including this one. If I may need to learn more about upcoming episodes with Rhonda, for all we know, but yeah, with more spiritual rock stars, uh, you know, go to yoursacredpurpose.com and opt in for the free meditate, make money meditation. Uh, it does, you know, it does work per the reports of people that are using it. Uh, they use it as a staple in their business to keep growing their their money and their businesses. So uh, go get connected with the Meditate Make Money Meditation. Get your divine downloads. Get your open, you know, open up your energy, your chakras. Get, get to connect with abundance and good energy, and uh, see what happens. You know, it's it's again, it's it, it really feels good. So you definitely want to check that out, and uh, you know, and and check out what else. I've got on the website to see if something resonates for you but i also have my rock your sacred purpose energy scan consultation where i do a scan in depth like i only have so much time to do the guests but we do an in-depth energy scan of you and help you to understand too what how that relates to your business and what wants to happen through your business and we even get into the business stuff often during that particular consultation to help you with your next steps so uh so check all that out at yoursacredpurpose.com all right, so uh, Rhonda, uh, I'd always like to like to give the the guest the uh, last words. So, uh, or, or almost last words, the last, last bits of wisdom. <laughs> so, any last words of wisdom for the audience? I don't know if I have anything left. Um, yeah, I just want to really appreciate you and um, and your persistence and commitment and dedication in what you're doing with the show and the amazing work that you do in the world. Um, and and the effort it took to get us both here with the crazy power outage and <laughs> you know and just yeah I, I I feel I feel your commitment and your integrity and I'm just really appreciative of who you are in the world. Wow, uh, thank you so much, Rhonda. Thank you, and uh, I just want to uh, thank you for being on the show so much. And uh, this was a super awesome show, and I'm just so grateful we're connected. So thank you as well. And thank you to everyone listening in. Thank you so much. Uh, as I always say at the end of each show, keep on tuning in and we'll keep on rocking it here at Spiritual Rockstar Podcast. Till the next time. For listening to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, stay tuned for our next upcoming new episodes each Saturday. Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review to help us to serve you best. As a reminder, you can get your free Meditate and Make Money meditation at www yoursacredpurpose.com to rock your sacred purpose. Goodbye for now, everybody.